Hello everyone and welcome to another Let's Play of Stardew Valley. This is our 54th Let's Play, I'm pretty sure. And we're going to day 26 of summer. Now today is Friday and we were promised a thunderstorm. Which is good because it means we're going to have one last... Uh, harvest of batteries before the summer is out. I need to remember to keep up on my forging. Anna! I'm going to give you this advice because I like you and I want you to stay in Pelican Town. If there comes a day that you want to ask for someone's hand in marriage, you'll need to give them a mermaid pendant. Don't worry, everyone in Pelican Town understands the significance of this amulet. It's an ancient tradition in this region. Good luck, Louis. Well, apparently someone has noticed that we have been wooing Abigail. And he wants us to know how to get married if we so desire. Which is very sweet. Let's set up the traveling cart first, although it suddenly occurs to me that I don't know what time they open. Apparently 7 a.m. is not too early. <laughs> she has a rabbit's foot. <laughs> well, we don't really need one now, but we're going to get one because there's kind of a limited number of the... Oh my god, she's got more than one. How many does she have? Okay, three is enough. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna buy more than that. Wow, that's amazing. That that actually really is amazing because you need three at least. Uh, one for the community center. One for the guy next to the JoJo store, and one for your. sales to fill out your sales collection so you can just buy them all from her that's amazing and interesting that they didn't show up until I basically didn't need them anymore a suspicious mind would wonder if it was programmed that way but I'm not suspicious I don't have a suspicious bone in my body. Maybe one. No milk from the cows today. No milk today, my love is gone away. Let us head to the greenhouse. I haven't actually heard any thunder, but hopefully we'll get some for our batteries. Too encumbered to pick up the corn. So we will duck into the shed here and
There we go. Now we should be able to pick up at least a little bit. What if we threw the star produce in the bin? And our mushrooms. Now we should be able to pick up our corn. I actually can't. Whoops, I missed one. And I missed one of the coffee beans, too. We're just missing things left and right. Um, let's see. Accuse the game of thinking of this because the game did not realize in advance that I was going to tease our relationship with Abigail by giving her a hundred bouquets. But the mermaid pendant, and it's kind of funny or I don't know if funny is the right word it's it's an interesting decision that was made uh, the mayor says you need it to ask someone to marry you but he doesn't tell you how to get one in previous harvest moon games which obviously stardew valley is not a harvest moon game but it's it's you know very heavily inspired by harvest moon Have we ever shipped a red cabbage before? Yes, we have. In previous Harvest Moon games, when uh, it was time to marry someone, when you had upped their like for you sufficiently, you had to get a blue feather. And the blue feather would show up in the local shop where you bought supplies, or somebody would bring it by your farm and offer to sell it to you. Or, you know, it would otherwise manifest in your life whenever it came time to use it. The mermaid pendant only shows up on rainy days. And you might have even forgotten that this guy is here, but on rainy days, the spirit of a 
sailor, an old mariner, shows up. Well, I think it's a spirit. He might be real, but I, I thought I think he's supposed to be a spirit. I can see it in your eyes. There be a special someone in your heart. Just so it happens I'm set on a mermaid's pendant. Give that to your attendant and they'll know exactly what you mean. So we will buy the mermaid's pendant. But uh, like I said, how you're supposed to know that it is available there to buy is an exercise left to the viewer. Hey baby, what's wrong? Come here. What's wrong? That's a lot of cries. You okay? Did something scare you? Just come running and you're crying on the top of your lungs. Everything's okay. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Mommy's got you. Yeah, everything's okay. You don't need to be scared. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, can you sit in this basket? You don't want to sit in the basket, you want to sit in Mommy's arms. Mommy kind of needs her arms, and Mommy needs you to not chew on that wire. Okay, go sit in the basket. There you go. There we go, yeah. You look so good in the basket. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good boy. Best boy! No, he does not like the basket. He's gone. Okay, well, whatever he was scared of seems to have gone away. There is one last thing that we could do before summer leaves us. We could try really, really hard to catch the summer fish that is so tricky to catch. Legendary or whatever it's called. I don't even know if it shows up on rainy days. It may not. So, um, hmm. Mm -hmm, hmm. helps with fishing. That helps with fish. There we go. Three to fishing. Three more to fishing. Three more to fishing. If that can't uh, help, nothing can. Oops. That's what I need. And uh, what do we have by way of Causes fish to escape slower. That seems useful. Okay. It's faster to zip over to the town that way, but it feels faster. So you should time it. I 
I'm dreading this a little bit because we didn't have an easy time of it last time I tried, but who knows, maybe... Greetings, fish. You are not what we seek. The television did warn that our luck today would be bad. skill that's worth a dang. We're gonna go pick up something that I haven't gotten before that's apparently not in my collection. It's one of the mine fish or possibly more than one of the mine fish. Cactus right there. Twenty. Whoa! Hey, Anna. Surprised? I finally found the courage to come down here. I felt scared at first, but I pushed through. I feel much more confident now. This is actually really fun. Holy crap! I, I did not know that. Wow. Well, be careful. She's walking in place. Why are you walking in place, Abigail? That seems like a bug. That seems like a bug. Ghostfish! Not the one I wanted. You seem perky. Are you the one I want? It is! Stonefish! Was that guy? There's another one in here. We will go to level sixty. Okay. 
Okay, you seem peppy. I'm very jittery, actually. There we go. Ice pip. There's him. And level 100. Somehow the lava is not melting our fishing rod or the Jojo Cola. This one is hard. This one is supposed to be almost as hard as a legendary fish, but we just pulled in a legendary fish today, so with a plus three to fishing buff really helps. Lava eel! Alright, we can close that one out. go home and save our game. Well, actually, apparently we're going to visit the quarry because I misclicked. Gosh, I'm so proud of Abigail for going into the mines. I'm a little worried for her, but obviously she's not risking anything that we're not risking when we go there. If we can handle it, I think she can. Very, very, very proud of her. Do we want to sell anything? The red snapper can go. And I don't particularly need the ghost fish, but oh, nice. Uh, let's see here. It's tricky because my fishing box is full and I don't really want it to be full.
let's turn the rest of that fish into sashimi. And let's see here. I think that will do. And with that, we will go to bed. So how did we do? Not bad. Not bad at all. the dance of the moonlit jellies. The spirits feel neutral again. We haven't had a good spirit day in a while. Because if we did, we would have gone and cracked open our Omni geodes. The spirits feel unhappy with us, I guess. Not really sure how to fix that, to be honest. Thank you for visiting Pierre's cashback program. Oh, Pierre, you don't have to do that. I would have come to shop there anyway. But that's very kind of you, given that tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but uh, two days from now, it will be fall and I will be in need of seeds. We did not get a good battery harvest. That's unfortunate. And worse, our trees are still being very piddly about growth, so we only got two oak resins. This day is just full of bad things. We should just go back to bed and refuse to get up. I really don't know how real life farmers do the whole farming thing because I desperately need sick days and off days. Interesting. We should have had another duck egg. Hmm. Not sure where it is. don't want to give milk either, even though they should have. Maybe the thunderstorm would help? That's realistic, but I didn't know that was an option. I didn't count wrong and these guys should be available for harvest tomorrow morning otherwise we're kind of screwed and we wasted all this work but I'm hoping I didn't count wrong 
It wouldn't be the first time I've counted wrong. Counting not being one of my strong suits. And it kind of messes me up that the seasons are 28 days instead of 30. Okay. Get up the greenhouse. Wow. Okay. Harvest day in the greenhouse. Take that, open that, throw that in, open that, throw that in, open that, throw that in, casks, wood, copper, iron, two copper, two iron, goes back in there. And let's go drop our casks off real quick. Shake another coffee chug because we're moving kind of slow. We have two more casks. Woohoo! Very nice. All right. I would like to go talk to Robin. I think she works today. I don't know that this is faster, but... It's not slower. I don't think. Could be wrong. Robin is at full hearts with us. Alrighty. Oh, I like that. You have such pretty things, Robin. That's pretty too. I think Abigail would like that. We're going to have to redecorate the house when we get married to Abigail. Because I want it to be something she likes. 
Um, but that's neither here nor there. That's not why I came to talk to you. I came to talk to you to talk about the house. Okay, the cellar is going to cost... I need a pen for this. The cellar is going to cost... 100,000 gold, which is a lot more than we have. Right now we only have 30,000. I don't really want a slime hutch. A stable is Tenji, which we could easily swing at this stage. Um, Hundred hardwood, which I'm pretty sure we have, and five iron bars. I've just held off on getting a horse because I don't use one much in this let's play. The cabins are for multiplaying games. I'm not quite sure how they work. They're beautiful. I like the different. That's kind of a log cabin. That's kind of a beachy one to me, and that's, you know, stone, which is gorgeous. We don't really need another shed. I would like a mill. That's one of the reasons we came to visit. 200, or 2,500 gold, not very much. 150 wood, 50 stone, and four cloth. We could swing that right now. Silo, well, and then barns. I was thinking about maybe putting in a well, but I don't think that we need to. Oh, I know where I was going to put it. We don't really need the mill either. It just lets you create flour and sugar, which we can, at this stage, buy from uh, Pierre for cheaper. So those are really just more neat novelty items to have as opposed to things that we need. Briefly ignoring my <laughs> crab pots. We are looking for artifact spots in the forest. The little wormy things. And I think they only appear in tillable soil and not the grass, so that makes it a little bit easier to look for them. Because we don't have to look at the grass, we just have to look at the tillable soil. So if you see any worms that I run past, let me know. God, I'm not blinking, so my eyes are going to dry out. I don't see any wiggle worms. Okay, no 
wiggleworm, so let's try fishing. I'm gonna try to find some more artifacts. Unsure if we'll be successful. thing about chests is you have to catch them and the fish. If you catch the fish but not the chest, you don't get the chest, and if you catch the chest but not the fish, then you don't get etc. We already have that one. Damn. Oh, we got a Dorado. A glorious city. Built by the divinity is my God, who's often to bestow. Gift of paradise, peaceful and harmonious upon us mere mortals below. And may the Lorado, the magnificent and golden, one thousand years ago, El Dorado. But no more treasure chests, just an El Dorado. Cut through here. There's some kind of force field blocking away. I don't know what's in there. I'm confused. That's some kind of new addition that I don't know about. Uh, do you see any wiggle worms here? We're looking for wiggle worms. are very unhappy. I'm trying to find artifacts. There is a Bobber, which makes treasure more likely to show up. And we may need to switch to that. At the very least, we should take off the trap bobber, because that's useful for actual legendaries. So we go home in defeat and shame. Piles ten thousand dollars worth of uh, stuff in the bin. Oh, the shame and the defeat. Magnet increases chances of finding treasure. Okay, let's try that one. Oh, it's instead of bait. Oh, okay, interesting. And we can put our flower on the wall. 
I think it's pretty. I don't know that Abigail will want needlepoint on the walls. We'll have to see what she likes. Okay, this is the last day of summer that we're going into. So... We need to make everything count. It's gonna be sunny tomorrow. We're gonna have extra luck today. Roasted hazelnuts, excellent. What does that need? Where is it? I know you're in here. Roasted hazelnuts, it needs, it needs hazelnuts, that's all it needs. Boom. Sunday, so that means the traveling cart should be here as well. Dear Anna, tonight at 10 o'clock p.m., a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies! We have been there and we will go again because it's lovely and good and wholesome. Oh, thank God. I didn't miscount. I was genuinely nervous about that. as well as a summer, so it will stay watered. Everything else will be gone tomorrow. Once again, I really should have come in here before I set up all the casks because the coffee beans, they keep a beanin'. But it's all good. It's all good. Let us... Head back to the house because we need to put some of these things away. 
Hey kitty. No, we don't gnaw on our kitty. That worked out very nicely. of the red cabbages because if you recall red cabbage is what makes um, everyone so happy at the luau so obviously you want to keep one of those the other thing we want to do because it's summer it's the last day of summer is we're going to pull up our flowers that we grew here in order to make the honey have flavor because they won't be they won't be harvestable tomorrow when it's fall. Today was the last day we could harvest them, so we're going to harvest them. Why am I saving dragon eggs? I don't know. Dragon eggs. <laughs> Dinosaur eggs, not dragon eggs. This is not Game of Thrones. I am not Khaleesi. Definitely not that. Do I have four reds? I guess I do. Why did I pick up my scissors? Because I was thinking about wool. Okay, the goats have decided to be milkable today. That's pleasing. And they weren't too hard to get a hold of. find out how much Marnie's charging for that auto milker. Because that does seem very interesting to me. I don't think she's open on Sundays. I guess we'll find out. Alright, keep an eye peeled for Wiggles. Shame's gone a lot and Aunt Marnie's busy all the time. Shop. Auto grabber. 25. Oh, that's not that bad. Automatically harvest from your animals every morning. Works on cows, sheep, and goats. Yeah, actually, I'm going to buy that. I thought it was more expensive than that. If I watch more TV, maybe I can forget about life. That would be relaxing. Shane! Have you heard the good news about role-playing groups? That's helped me in my depression a lot. Oh, a truffle! Only one. Dang. That's a shame. Ooh. I gotta figure out how I wanna use it. But, uh, but seriously, I have been helped so much. I actually, um, <laughs> I went on meetupok.com and looked for role playing groups, and there were some, but they were really far away from me, and, um, 
you know, a lot of them were at somebody's house, which could be lovely or could be horrible. You, you know, you, you never know really one way or the other. And, um... So then I went on Facebook and looked for role-playing groups there and again did not really find very much and I despaired. But uh, one of the things I saw had said to call up comic book stores in your area and ask them if they have any role-playing groups. And the first couple of ones I called were like, oh, yeah, we totally used to, but we don't anymore for reasons. But we're, we'll put your name on a wait list, you know. So I was like, okay, you know. And um, the third place I called was like, actually, yes, we have role-playing groups here on Monday nights and Wednesday nights and Thursdays and... Fridays and Saturdays and Sunday, like it was like all the days, you know, and um, the way they do it is um, there's a two dollar cover charge per person and one of the dollars goes to the comic book store and one of the dollars goes to the dungeon master um, and that way they're actually being compensated for their time which is really to me great because um i care a lot about time compensation and fair labor and i have dm'd online not in face 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 is so much harder um but i have dm'd online and it's so freaking hard I mean, it's real work i mean i will fight anyone who says that dming isn't work and um so I didn't, um, let's put you there. I don't like how close that is, so let's move one of you there. Yeah, that works. Uh, so, 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 I went to the Saturday meetup, right? And I was so nervous because, like, what if they hate me? They could. But everyone was just so nice, and I had such a fun time. I don't think I have ever been so happy in my life as I was there with, you know, fellow geeks being geeky. So that was just lovely, and I really want Shane to have something like that. Matter of fact, um, Sebastian runs a... DM group in his basement. We should get Shane and Sebastian playing with one another. You just know that Shane's probably like never played before because he never had a chance to for whatever reason. And so now it would be like kind of embarrassing and he's afraid he's too old and doesn't know what he's doing. But like Sebastian would take him in hand and teach him all the things he needs to know. It'd be so cute. That's what I want for Shane. But yes, I can I can highly recommend role playing groups for at least helping my depression. I don't know about anybody else's. I guess I shouldn't give. I'm not a professional. Don't listen to any advice I give at all whatsoever. <laughs> I'm just a mess. Okay, so... We want to go to the festival tonight. And I cannot think of anything else to do except go hang out by the beach and attempt <laughs> to get some treasure with our treasure rod. 
That sounded like a euphemism for something, but I'm not sure what. All right. Go, treasure rod. This is with the the treasure bait that's supposed to make it more likely for treasure to show up. And yet it didn't. You've used your last piece of- There was only one use?! That's... Well... Plucky! I don't know how I feel about that. Because geodes can only be used to reveal metal. And I'm really wanting. Oh, I didn't click fast enough. fish. There we go. I'm trying so hard to get, like, the artifacts that only show up through fishing. There we go. Well, I guess getting bait back... Means you didn't waste one. Okay, well, that brings us to the... There we go. Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. 
It would be funny if you could fish during the festival, but you cannot. Well, I'm a little disappointed that talking to people during the festival doesn't give you points. Such a rare and exciting thing. And I think you can uh, spend the festival with your spouse, but we're not married. So we would have to go through us another year. Here's Kent here. And he's with Jody. That's sweet. So let's go ahead and launch the boat. If talking to people increased their like for you, I would go around and talk to everyone. But they don't have anything new to say that they didn't say already last year. I always think this is so pretty. It would probably be prettier if my crab pots weren't up there going, empty us! Look at them. They're so pretty. Oh, I wish I could live by the beach. I love the little baby ones and a special little green one that comes up to you. Look at that! We've been blessed by this special green jellyfish. We will have a good year. The glow of summer has faded now and the moonlight jellies carry on towards the great unknown. Okay, here we go. I couldn't remember if it just smashed straight into bedtime or if we got a chance to throw our bream in the... And that, my loves, is the end of summer. And with that, we will exit back to the title page. So that was another Let's Play of Stardew Valley. Once again, my name is Anna Mardal, and I am so grateful, so grateful to those of you who are coming along with me on this. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.